a good afternoon. As you know, we have been busy working on stuff for the garden, stuff for prepping for the season of spring. Now, it is still uh, late January, almost all, or February, and we're planting up a storm in the greenhouse, as y'all have seen in prior videos. Uh, right now, as you see, the, the hogs are doing great. They've got some fresh hay, and they're just napping. Um, chickens are doing wonderful. Remember, we've taken this area in just for them to kind of hang out during the day. And we will run them back in their hen house at night but they're just having a blast uh, as soon as they get done with this area and kind of clean up all the stuff they want to do and scratch all the stuff they want to scratch we're going to let the hogs come in here and do some major tilling and this will be again something for uh the bees to grow some some uh, cover crop in such as uh things they like things like buckwheat uh and even we're going to scatter some some wildflowers through there so today's focus is going to be these raised beds we've been working on uh we've been talking about doing you know uh, these for the last few videos but we're actually gonna get to it today we're gonna plant our onions we've got some carrots growing we're gonna keep them growing uh in here these are not our hugo culture beds our hugo culture beds are still growing from the from the fall and winter um or excuse me early fall they're still growing through winter but we do have some carrots planted we are gonna go ahead and plant some onions all through here we'll probably leave one little spot open for maybe a few more potatoes as it gets closer to potato season and we've got some garlic and onions already growing over there but we're going to plant some more that way we'll be able to harvest those and of course the other ones will keep on going so let's get started <music> Good afternoon. Welcome to the Max. Thank you for joining us on our channel. As you can see, it is bright, so excuse the shadow on my face. Um, we are actually going to be planting onions, like we said in the little intro to the video. Uh, remember, with onions, you do want to plant them anywhere from we're zone eight B, so we're going to be planting them now, which is kind of the late January, early February. So we'll plant them this basically this next week or two, uh, but we're going to get some planted today. Uh, onions you can plant. We use a size one, so basically we're going to plant our bulbs one inch deep and about two to three inches a piece apart uh, you can go up to four inches apart it's not gonna hurt anything uh, but we want to get them as close as possible because really we need um, to plant as many as we can so we, we may go three or four inches but you want to get them pretty close because these are not supposed to be these monster big onions we don't grow big onions we grow more of a smaller onion uh, and almost eat them as a you know probably you know half half quarter size shallots or either you know maybe like the typical Vidalia onion you see in Walmart. So we're gonna get those planted today and here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take this bed, we've got it ready and all we're gonna do is literally take our finger. I usually just take my finger and we'll just go down and actually just make holes all the way down and so forth. And then I know that's where we can plant our onions. That helps us keep up with how many we've planted. I'll count them at the end and then basically uh, we'll kind of go and know what we've got. We, we grow in very, very loose soil. Anytime we grow a ground um, a ground option vegetable, such as onions, garlic, um, potatoes, we want to make sure that our, our, our soil is very well draining, but also that it, um, it's easy to pull up. You know, that way you're not tearing your, your vegetable up. So we go very loose. So we've got topsoil in here. We've got uh, peat moss in here. So that'll help with the de decomposition, but also for holding water, but not... To a point of not letting it drain also we've got uh, some kind of old composted hay underneath here so i think it's a good mix of good bedding on for de decomposition but really we have um more of a top that's very very loose so let's get these so let's get these planted and uh see how I many we can get in this one eight by four bed all right so you see all the holes we've got uh, let's see how I many let's count them one two three four five six seven uh we have seven up and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen across so what is fifteen times seven fifteen times two is thirty forty sixty times four so sixty that's one hundred that's a that's a hundred and twenty hundred and twenty it's a hundred and five that's a hundred and five right here y'all like my mississippi math <laughs> So we're gonna plant 105 bulbs right here in a four by eight, and then we'll plant some more right there beside the carrots, and then we'll leave that one open for anything else we have coming around. So 
that's a lot of that's a lot of onion growing right here but last year of those we had a lot of them some of them were small but like shallot size which we like to cook with and then some were more of a slicing onion so you know use the space you got it makes sense to use uh as much as this space we can for something small growing like onion so we're gonna go ahead and get these planted all right when you're planting again you make sure your bulb is up just like that and where it's gonna grow its roots is right there that's where that green's gonna come from i only plant them about an inch deep just basically stick them in you don't have to dig the holes if you choose not to see how that one's growing already get a little stem on it we had a, some of these we saved from last year and then the rest we just bought just because some of them just didn't hold up we should have aged them a little bit longer than we did so we're gonna get these planted and then we got one more plant and that way these will be finished and we'll see how many onions we can get in just a small little square foot place and you could even grow these on your patio and see how easy it is planted I'm just talking in this few little seconds i've gotten over 20 planted right here so let's uh let's get the rest of these planted There you have it, how to grow onions. Quick, cheap, and easy. We have a four by eight raised bed that we've built out of pallets, basically just regular old pallets. Bought them for less than $2 for, I think three. So I got half cut in half on two of them. So I have one, two, three, three pallets. And then I come back and wrapped, uh, wrapped it with um, just fence boards. Ones you get from just, these are just Fence board from Home Depot for two dollars a piece or two dollars and sixty cents, um, and they're treated. They're just nice little ad, make it look a little bit better. And then I just planted a hundred and five onions in that. So all in all, I've got a raised bed that didn't cost about thirty dollars. I've got soil made up of just old hay, um, basically some some topsoil that I got out of a uh, out of a uh, area that we buy it in bulk. And then turn around and mix it with uh with some peat moss so it helps decay it quick uh and then again the bulbs you can buy use at any big store i mean basically bulbs you can buy for dirt cheap and usually you can buy three dollars i got a hundred bulbs so i've got less than fifty dollars and 105 uh onions and they will grow that close together that quick planting them usually one to two inches deep spreading them out three to four inches wide and getting ready to enjoy some good onion saute so i hope this helps i hope this is a quick little video to show you how easy it is to grow onions what you want to remember about onions when they grow they're going to grow just like they're pretty green onions you let them get big let them get tall let them flip over when they start dying the top start dying and falling over the majority of them falling over and kind of dying then they're ready to go pull them up dig them out and let them age thank you for watching this video enjoy the rest of your day god bless you Happy homesteading, y'all.